It's a well-known fact that in Hollywood, the winner takes it all. And one of summer 2018's biggest winners was the long-awaited sequel, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. The figures show that audiences were willing to take a chance and lay all their love on this film as it raked in over £300 million at the box office. A lot of money, money, money. And it can be safely assumed that the producers are living in a rich man's world. But how exactly did this film make so much money? Well, let me explain. Time has been most cruel to you, sir. <clears throat> in your case, age becomes you as it does the tree. Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again mainly used traditional advertising methods such as posters, billboards, cinema trailers and TV spots. Along with this, it used newer forms of digital marketing such as social media banner adverts, trailers that were released on YouTube. They also released the full opening song of the film, When I Kiss the Teacher, on YouTube in May, two months before the film's official release. When I kiss the teacher And they must have thought they dreamed When I kiss the teacher This helped to build up hype for the film as people could see this new track before they saw the entire film. Here We Go Again also had the luck of being a follow-up to one of the highest grossing films in British history, 2008's Mamma Mia. Waiting 10 years to release the film led to a lot of build-up and excitement from fans and the general media. Another technique used was celebrity endorsement, with the cast, which includes Cher, Pierce Brosnan, Meryl Streep, Amanda Seyfried and the standout performances from Julie Waters and Christine Baranski. All of these gave interviews on television, chat shows, magazines and YouTube slash online media outlets. All of these factors helped to catapult Mamma Mia Here We Go Again to the top of the box office, leaving everyone saying thank you for the music. And you're not that kind of girl? Absolutely not. Usually. Just 